it's Marissa and Shauna and today's video is gonna be holiday self-care gift guide so a little bit of self-care some gifts thrown in it's just a great time to like treat yourself you know I, <laughs> I love how it's like holiday self-care gift guide because it's like code for like gifts you can kind of give to yourself mm -hmm. but like in the name of self-care you know what I'm saying yeah <laughs> crazy time like yeah. you know you got work stuff you got school stuff like it's just yeah. busy there's events there's parties and also, like thinking of everyone else what to get them it can stress you out so <laughs> you need some time for you <laughs> you need some gifties for thyself mm -hmm. so these are just some things that you can you know use to relax to chill to decompress treat yourself mm -hmm. so the first thing you can do to treat yourself is to light a candle <laughs> or spritz some perfume and these are from dossier we love dossier big 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 dossier fans and the candles are gourmand white flowers and this is floriental vanilla and my perfume is floriental brown sugar and my perfume is Fruity Honey, and I swear to you, this is a dupe of the Jo Malone. As soon as I smell it, I'm like, I'm back in the mall spritzing all of the Nectarine Jo Malone samples. <laughs> that's how good it smells, and that's how similar it smells. So Dossier, they recreate like gourmet, really luxury scents mm -hmm. um, and fragrances, and they're all made in Grass France, but they're for very like affordable prices. So oh, yeah. You're not gonna be paying like $200 a bottle. All of their candles are vegan, cruelty free. Um, they have a runtime of 25 hours, so yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, no, I feel like candles and perfume is just a really great way to treat yourself, especially during the holidays. Candles kind of make everything cozy. Like you can kind of pop on like a Christmas movie and yeah. like, or eat some cookies <laughs> or drink some hot cocoa with a with the candle and then perfume i really like perfume like after i've showered i just love spritzing it on before i go to sleep because i feel like it's just like i don't know like it helps me sleep better i love smelling myself like i don't know is that <laughs> weird it's yeah. self-care a little <laughs> And we will be sure to link dossier below for you guys the candles and the perfumes they are a great buy for yourself for a loved one for the holidays okay so the next thing is kind of more of a gift guide <laughs> this is more of like a treat yourself or you know somebody that you're really close to and that is this happy jewelers oh! diamond name necklace I am like obsessed with these we're both so obsessed. oh my god I haven't been able to stop looking at it since it came it's so freaking cute and so pretty and I feel like this would be a good gift for like I would say like a boyfriend or girlfriend hmm. or maybe like like you mean like for a boyfriend to get to a girlfriend yeah yeah yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> yeah. So they're custom made, so it does take a couple of weeks to make. They're solid 14 karat gold. So mine is in yellow gold and Marissa's is in yeah. white gold. And they also have rose gold too. Yeah, they also have that's rose gold thing. and there's real diamonds in them. They also have an option on their website that has no diamonds, it's just gold, but we both love the one with diamonds. I know, it's so pretty. And I love it because it's like, it's delicate and it's like, it's cute enough to wear on a daily. Like it's not like a big, you know, diamond like in your face. It is still like kind of subtle, mm -hmm. but it's got so much bling to it and so yeah. diamondy. Like I do feel like this is an everyday necklace. I can't stop touching it. I know, we were both so <laughs> obsessed with it. It's just something about getting something personalized with yeah. your name on it. It always feels special. And the fact that this is real fine jewelry, oh, yeah. like it's real solid 14 yeah. karat gold, it just feels really kind of luxurious and I decadent. Know. And I love Happy Jewelers because like, and I stalk their Instagram all the time. <laughs> oh, me but too. like, I, I know, like I'm, I've looked at every single one of their stories. I love Happy Jewelers because because a lot of their jewelry, it's like very unique. Like they only mm. make one of it. So it's like, they make a lot of like engagement rings and things like that and like fancy watches. But I love it because it's like, you buy it, but it's like something that no one else has. Yeah. You know, so it's not like made for the masses. So I really like that because it's like, it's unique to you and yeah. you feel like it's just made for you. Kind of like these necklaces, which were made for us. <laughs> so we recently visited a medical spa in Hollywood called Alchemy 43, and it's right on Sunset Boulevard. Um, I know that they have a few uh, LA locations, and they also have a New York location too. 
Yeah, so they're an aesthetics bar. They specialize in micro treatments, things like, you know, Botox, um, uh, B12 injections, fillers, just things to make you look and feel your best. Everything is done by medical professionals. Everything is tailored to your individual needs. So we actually recently went in and we both had consultations with the nurse and we both actually decided to try uh, baby Botox. Baby Botox. <laughs> oh yeah, and then we also got a little bit of Voluma, which is like hyaluronic acid in your skin. So it just kind of plumps your skin. It makes it look really like refreshed. If you've got like uneven um, or like asymmetrical skin, like I know for me, this side was a little bit fuller than this side. So you just do a little Voluma, like plump up the skin. And I gotta say, 10 out of 10, I loved it. So we are both very, very into skincare. Like we're huge skincare addicts. If you've been here for the last few years, you know we are always raving about our skincare. We take it very seriously. We're always wearing SPF in the sun. Like we, we go all out with our skincare routine. <laughs> So I have been thinking about wanting to try Botox for a little while, mainly as a preventative treatment. Yeah. Um, they actually have this special called the Hello Bright Eyes, which does um, the lines around your eyes, also your forehead. And I, it was really important to me to not do too much, to kind yeah. of just keep it very like subtle and natural. Yeah, so they actually call it baby Botox because it's injected in such small amounts. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I felt very safe, I felt very comfortable, and they actually have a lot of specials going on right now yeah. for the month of December. Holiday specials, and I gotta say, I feel like I really love the consultation because I feel like it was very much tailored to us. I felt like um, our nurse, Heather, shout out to Heather, really listened to us and like what we wanted, you know, that we didn't want to overdo it. Like, and I feel like I really appreciate that because we really wanted just tiny, tiny, such small injections, like really yeah. just only for preventative reasons. Um, Cause we really don't, we really don't have. <laughs> but you know just like the tiniest little things and I gotta say I was so impressed with the results like I was like I, I every time I look in the mirror now I always look under my eyes and I'm like where did that one line go oh. and when I put on concealer when I put on concealer that's when I noticed it the most because I would always see the concealer settle into mm. this one little these little under eye lines that I used to have and I don't have them anymore yeah. but Aww. so yeah I feel like it really like boosted my confidence and, and and it's tricky because I feel like it's so subtle that you you really only do it for yourself like nobody else is really gonna notice like That's no one's very true. paying attention to the exact contours of your face and the exact lines That's but true. I feel like it's just my own personal like oh when I smile like oh this side looks more full like less flat yeah. so I don't know I just I really was so happy with the results and I think that we did a perfect amount of it like we didn't overdo it I felt like um it was just great yeah so we will link alchemy 43 down below so you can check it out yeah. if you're in LA or New York so this next self-care um, item is something that I really like because you know the holidays are crazy you know you're crazy busy everyone's cooking and buying presents and working trying to get everything done for the vacation and I feel like you have no time for yourself and I'm the type of person like I love like going out and doing social things but like I don't want to spend hours getting ready I kind of just want to like schlup something on and go but still look like I'm cute and so I feel like a really good thing to have are these Madison and braids. And, and these are just so cute. I love these because I feel like I can literally wake up with the messiest, <laughs> nastiest grease ball bed head, <laughs> schlup one of these on and look so adorable. I mean, I'm actually wearing one right now as you can probably tell. And it's funny because we actually recently went to Palm Springs to do a wedding photo shoot. Yeah. And we had a professional hair and makeup artist there and she spent like almost an hour doing this um, braided crown on me. Yeah. And like, this is literally a professional taking almost an hour. Yeah. Whereas like with Madison braids, I can literally put it on and it's done in two seconds. Yeah, no, I love that. And I feel like I can just put this on, you know, take five minutes to do my makeup and then just go and look really like I put so much more effort in than yeah. I did. And so I don't know, I do feel like this is a self care item because it's like, it's something you can do for yourself. Like, I don't know, it's just designed to make your life a little easier. I feel like for some reason, nothing stresses me out more than doing my hair and makeup 
to go for holiday events. I don't know why, but like it just takes me forever. And then all of a sudden, like three hours have gone by and I'm like, oh my God, I still look horrendous. Oh <laughs> like my, my hair is like, for some reason when I'm nervous, I cannot do hair. I cannot do <laughs> hair. So I just leave it straight. I leave it long, pop the braid on. Boom, we're good to go. Bada bing, bada bang. <laughs> we got our braid, Aww. we looking cute. But I feel like the braid, it looks so cute. It looks so cute. holiday -y. And I'm like, oh my God, if you put like some cranberries, like some <laughs> Mistletoe. Like wouldn't that look so like that would look like like oh damn like she she went, she went all, out. all out like she's about to perform at the Christmas Disneyland holiday parade. So this is the Addy Knotts braid, and then Marissa has the Halo braid, yeah. and then we both have the Blair Lulu two strand. I actually haven't worn it yet, but oh yeah, and I, I really love this one because I feel like you could even wrap it around a bun and tie mm. it cute. You could do it like here. There's a lot of different ways to wear it, and I feel like all of those ways take like two minutes <laughs> to put oh, on. Yeah. No, they have <laughs> so many different kinds of braids on their website. Yeah. They actually have this one called the Junie Twist that like looks so cute. Oh I really God. want to try it. I know, like I love braids, but for the <laughs> life of me, I cannot do braids. I know. I cannot do French braids. I can't even do like any sort of braids. It just looks horrendous and it falls apart and it's just, oh. So it's like, like, if I were to do this myself, it would take me two hours and it still wouldn't look good. <laughs> yeah, mine would take two hours and it would look horrible and I would end up probably taking it out because it looked so bad and it would probably hurt my scalp <laughs> the way I would do it. So yeah, no, I just feel like these save you so much time. Like, I really do feel like this is a proper self-care item because you wanna be cute when you go out. You wanna like be stylish. You don't wanna be worried about like, oh, does my hair look good? So I don't know, I just feel like this really alleviates a lot of the burden of like, oh, I've gotta do my hair perfectly. So the next thing is pretty much all me. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, and that is, Diamond Art Club. Oh my God. Okay, we got this thing like probably like six months ago or around six months ago. I feel okay. I think we got it in July. So I think you've been working on it for four months. Okay, maybe more. I feel like I've been working on it more, but who knows? But yeah, I have been obsessed with Diamond Art Club. I do it pretty much every single day or almost every single day, and it's just really relaxing. It's basically like painting by color, but with crystals. So it's like crystal by color. And like you, you know, look at the little patterns, see which color, see which style that you do. And it just makes this beautiful pattern in the end. Okay, I can testify that whenever we've got like the TV on in the background, Marissa's like, oh, like let me get to my out diamond art club. So she gets it all set up and I just see her I sitting know. there working and she can go for hours. I, I feel like- I can. I, I mean, can. it feels like something very relaxing Thing, and like very yeah. self care. It's like very yeah. like, let me like chill out, do my oh diamond my art club. I'm obsessed with diamond art club. And it's funny because I feel like anytime someone comes over, they're like, what is this? Because it's always just by the couch, like on its own little table. Um, but yeah, no, I love it so much. It's funny because when we first opened it, Shauna did like the first like 10 crystals yeah. and then I did the other 99.999% of it. And I was just like, I don't know, like it, it felt very relaxing. Like it feels very satisfying satisfying when you like go through a bag and you get all the little all the little patterns done and then you move on to a new bag and I don't know it just there's something very calming about it it's kind of like how I imagine people feel about adult coloring books but mm -hmm. I don't like adult coloring books they frustrate me trying to stay <laughs> inside the line so I kind of feel like if you're not super like like creative like this is a good way to like yeah. still be able to create beautiful art but not have to like create the paint like the create the shape of the painting does that yeah. make sense like you don't have to create like to something from your head it's already there but you just have to crystal it you just bring it to life <laughs> and I actually feel like I mean you just finished the mermaid yeah, did. and that was one of the harder um, designs yeah. on their website that was not one of the beginner ones so we got just all the little baggies to the prove deep it. End. I know like I just went ham I just went all out and it's funny because when I first started I remember thinking like I wonder how long this is gonna take me I wonder but you just keep going and, and it's just before you know it, you're done. You don't even, you're not even like thinking about finishing. It's more just like a fun, relaxing, enjoyable hobby. Um, you will have a million of these little crystal bags everywhere. Oh, and also what I like to do is I like to write the number on the crystal bag. Oh. 
Oh, it didn't come like that? No, no, it didn't come like that. Well, it comes in other like baggies with crystals, but sometimes you miss like one or two little mm. spots. So if you do need to go back, that's super helpful. Oh. Little pro tip, but yeah, no, I love Diamond Art Club. Like. I want to do every single diamond art club ever made. That's like, <laughs> what do you want your next design to be? Do you want the to do trees? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe the holiday ones. We have more diamond art club coming. I'm, mm. I'm very excited to say the least. <laughs> but yeah, diamond art club, self care. I can attest to this. Been doing it for many, many months. Just finished the mermaid. So our last holiday self care is something you can cuddle up with to unwind. After a long day, and it is Bartesian holiday drinks. Bartesian holiday drinks, and they also came out with an advent calendar. Ooh. And I want it. Cause like Bartesian and advent calendar is like that has Marissa written all over it. I feel like Bartesians are so great for like holidays and get togethers, yeah. especially. Like I know for Thanksgiving, we each made ourselves a cosmopolitan. Yeah. I just love it because. I feel like when people come over or just when I want something, I have something to offer them mm -hmm. and I know it's gonna taste good because I didn't make it. <laughs> I am like the worst bartender in the world. I'm like, would you like me to open up a can of, of um, white claw for you? Like I don't, I cannot make cocktails to save my life. So this comes with the Yuletide Hurricane, Holiday Spiced Old Fashioned, Mistletoe Margarita, and Espresso Martini. Ooh, okay, the one I am most excited to try is probably the Mistletoe Margarita. Ooh, that one looks good. Pomegranate, blackberry, Ooh. lime juice. Let's, Let's make one after the video. Ooh, and the Yuletide's got like apple, passion fruit, orange juice, lime. Ooh, Ooh okay. I know what we're doing after this <laughs> video. But so you get two capsules of each, and I just like, uh, which one are you most excited for? I think I'm most excited. I, I actually think I'm most excited for the Yuletide Hurricane. Really? Oh, I thought you were gonna yeah. say espresso martini. You know, I really do wanna try an espresso martini, cause I feel like so many people are like, oh my God, espresso martinis, espresso martini. But I do ha feel like I have to be in a coffee mood. <laughs> like Bartesians, it's funny because I never knew that I was like so picky with cocktails till we got a Bartesian I because know. I'm like, I'm like, oh, I don't want this one. Oh, I want the lemon drop. Oh, I want the mint julep. Like I have very specific ideas yeah. of like what specific drink I want when I'm in like a cocktail mood. You know, the Bartesian actually reminds me of something weird. So like, you know how, okay, I really love using a Kindle, but mm -hmm. I feel like people are all like, no, I like regular books. I like, you know, the <sighs> original, I yeah. like holding a book. And I feel like with the Bartesian, when I've tried to explain it to people, sometimes they're kind of skeptical at first. They're kind of like, oh, they're like, like what? It's just like a machine. It's like, like a machine, it. but it can make cocktails as good as a bartender. And I'm like, no, no, no. It tastes so much better than like any <laughs> No, but then <laughs> once they try it, it's yeah. like you're converted. You're a believer. Yeah. It's like you experience it and like you get it, you know? It's funny because once someone came over and I made him a rum breeze and he was like, what is this? And then he was like, oh my God, it's, it's so, so good. good. I know people are shocked and surprised at how actually good it is. And I love that you can customize it like light, medium, strong, like mm -hmm. light, regular, strong mocktail, even if you we want. We always do light. We always do light, yeah. <laughs> but um, Bartesian man, holiday collection, self care. <laughs> So those were some self-care things that we recommend this holiday season. I feel like all of these were really like, even just doing this video, I'm like, oh, I feel relaxed. I feel like it was self-care. <laughs> I feel like the necklace is probably one of my Oh, I know. Things. I feel like the necklace is like, oh, 10 out of 10. <laughs> and we love you guys. Big kiss and bye. bye, -bye.